Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. So special tracks. I know my worth. Facts. My bloodline royal. Facts. We the kings of the earth. Right. You can't stop this. Nah, nah. You can't stop this. No way. Yo, boy, way I try. Don't... Right. From Genesis to Revelations, the whole Bible talks I about do. us. These That's are right. our God given names, and these are the names that the white man gave us to slavery. So, now with that being said, we're going to show you birthdays in the Bible. Read that. The book of Genesis, chapter 40 and verse 20. And it came to pass that the third day, which was Pharaoh's birthday. Pharaoh's birthday. Who was Pharaoh? Pharaoh was a king. Pharaoh had us in slavery. That's right. Pharaoh had the 12 tribes of Israel in slavery. He was a king in Egypt. You know what I'm saying? He was a black man. He had us in slavery. Read that again. And it, and it came to pass that the third day, which was Pharaoh's birthday, that he made a feast unto all his servants. And he lifted up the head of the chief butler and of the chief baker among his servants. And he lifted up his head, meaning, meaning he, he cut his head off. He killed him on his birthday. Right. You know what I'm saying? So this was kind of thing that was doing with this devil religion, birthdays. You know right. what I'm saying? It's a religion, it's a belief outside of what God said in the right. Bible. Right. It has nothing to do with God, us, and Israel. That's you right. know what I'm saying? But, like, is it the sin that we do on the birthday, or is it the actual birthday? It, it's, 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 it's a celebration. It's, it's you well, if I celebrate myself and I'm, I'm just feeling good about myself. That okay, go to the Leviticus 18 and 3. So we're we, we going we to show you more scriptures because now when Moses got us out of Egypt, this is what Moses told the 12 tribes of Israel when right. we got out of Egypt, right? Under Pharaoh, the king who celebrated birthdays, who killed on every, every when his birthday came, he was killing people. Right. You know what I'm saying? He killed the chief butler. You know what I'm saying? That, 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 that's what they tradition is to kill people on birthdays. Right. Read that. The book of Leviticus, chapter 18 and verse 3. Yeah. After the doings of the land of Egypt. After the doings of the land of Egypt. This Moses talking to the 12 tribes of Israel. Wherein ye dwell, ye, ye shall What's shall one of the laws that, that we do? break all the time? Adultery and doing what? Celebrating birthdays, right. Christmas, Thanksgiving, those those little laws that you that you don't think that got us 
it, that you don't think that caused all of this? It did. Yes, the big laws caused it and the little laws caused it as well. Slavery. Read it, read it from the top. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So we came into Egypt which is bondage, slavery, with ships. Did that happen to your forefathers? This is how our forefathers got on. This is how we got here. Right. That's how we're here now. Right. Because of what happened to our forefathers. Otherwise, we'll still be on that side of the right. world. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. No, our friends. Your enemies. You sure? You, it's your uh, friends, right? Ye shall be sold unto your enemies. So, when we got off those slave ships, we were sold to our enemies. Right. That's what we're showing you right here again on the sign. Bring it up. These are auction blocks when we got off on, on the ships. Right. And they right. sold our, our people. Right. right. That's, how we, that's why we over here now today. Right. God's chosen people, the Israelites. Right. Read. For bond men and bond women. A slave man and slave woman. Bring it you know up. what I'm saying? Bring it up. So this is how we got on this side of the earth. This is something the church is not showing us. Right. We are God's chosen people, brother. That's right. And we got to come back to keeping God's law. That's right. So you can't forget that. You are Israelite from the tribe of Judah. And Israelites got to keep God's law. I'm going to show you that Christ is a black man. Bring it out. On, with the scriptures, not with our own mouth. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because that's how we've been lied to all this long time. We've been lied to by it's okay to have birthdays, but the Bible never said it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween. Ain't no Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween in the Bible. Right. That's right. So why is we celebrating it like God say, oh yeah, do that? Bring it out. He ain't never say do that. We right. learned that from that white image. Right. Image of the beast. Right. You got it? The book of Revelation, chapter 1, and verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Who got white and who got woolly hair on the face of the earth right now? You know what woolly hair look like, brother? Come on, man. Touch your head. Touch your head. Touch your head. That right. nappy stuff right. up there, man, that's woolly hair there, man. That's, right. that's God giving hair. That's right. Don't forget it, man. Why we talking to you? Right. You know what I'm saying? Cause we know you are, are a child of God. We know you are Israelite. We, right. we can tell. You know what I'm saying? Read that. His head and his ears were white like wool, as white as snow. You say white as snow, it means white. You know. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes was a flame of fire, meaning he had he drunk wine in moderation, so his eyes were kind of red a little right. bit. That's right. Read. Like unto fine brass. What color is brass? brass? Yeah, what color is brass? Brass is in the brown family. It's 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 the derivative of brown. Brass like a penny. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like your shoes. Brass, brass, like it's in the brown family. Now, look, look how brown he was. Read. Come on. Read it out. As if they burn. So if you burn anything in the furnace, what color is gonna get? An oven is a furnace. If you burn anything in the furnace, what what color is gonna get? If you burn if you burn some toast in a furnace in the oven, what color is gonna get? Okay, right. come on man, work with me, work with me. So Christ was a woolly head, dog dog skin black man. Right. So we've been raised up. I've been raised up on that all my life. Right. Until I start reading, Bring it up. understanding what God been trying to tell me this whole time. Right. Like you got to do, my brother. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got and you got to learn. You got to do. And then once you learn and do for a while, then you got to teach. You got to right. come over here and help teach, brother. Right. We, first, yes. we're gonna show you now that you know you're an Israelite. We're gonna show you what God requires of you. Right. Bring it up. We gonna show you what God requires you, and then we gonna get on on on, on, on that. What you just said, you right. know what I'm saying? Cause once again, all of us been there, done that. Right. Read that. Deuteronomy. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter ten and verse twelve. And now, Israel, what doeth the Lord thy God require of thee? 
you know. But to fear the Lord, thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Verse 13, to keep the commandments of the Lord. So God requires us to keep the commandments. Right. You know what I'm saying? So as an Israelite, you're you're chosen to see the God. Right. You you go to God. You know what I'm saying? So that that, that temple of yours, when you put things in your temple that's not that God never told you to do, then you're defiling your temple. Right. That's right. You're defiling God's temple. Right. You are God. You ever heard that term? You are God on the earth. So why would God? Why would God on the earth? Do such a thing like eat pork and celebrate birthdays and smoke smoke cigars and marijuana. Bring it out. Guys on the earth don't do that. Right. Guys on the earth follow these instructions right, right here. Right. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna we're gonna show you what God say about about that. You got that? The book of First Corinthians, chapter three and verse sixteen. Yeah. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? Ye are the temple of God. This is your this is the temple. Read. And that the spirit the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. So when you defile your temple, God say he's going to destroy you. Right. You won't see life after death. Right. You're not keeping the commandment. That's a commandment telling you don't defile your temple. Right. There's nowhere in the Bible telling you that you can smoke. Right. None of the prophets, none of the great men smoke cigarettes, cigars, or marijuana. Bring it up, Read it again. It's the book of First Corinthians, chapter three and verse sixteen. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. So most I say he he gonna destroy the people that's not keeping his laws, that's his commandments. That's right. And and one of those laws is don't defile your temple. Right. You know what I'm saying? Let's get that in uh, Romans chapter. Uh, uh, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So you got to be transformed by the renewing of your mind back to what God say right. and not what man say. Right. That's right. Not what this line image say. You know what I'm saying? He said you can do whatever you want. All you got to do is pray. Right. The, Bible, the, the black Messiah said you got to keep his commandments. Right. You know what I'm saying? You love God, right? right. Huh? Okay, we're going to show you what love is. What you think love means? What, what it is to love God? What, is, what you got to do to love God? Huh? Right. You can't be doing wrong in life. But we got to understand what's wrong and what's right, according to the Bible. That's right. Because... The world gonna tell you wrong. Ain't nothing wrong with smoking cigarettes. Right, right. The world gonna tell you ain't nothing wrong with celebrating your work birthday. Right, right. So the way you find out what's wrong and right is with this Bible. Right. So we gonna show you what is what it means to love God. Come on, bring it up. It's the book of First John chapter five and verse three. Bring it up. For this is the love of God that we keep His commandments. So if you love God, you gotta do what? Keep His commandments. So if you love God, you gotta keep His commandments. That's right. You can't kiss him, you can't hug him, you can't send him no letters, you can't do nothing for him. All, the only thing you can do for him is keep his commandments. Right. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And the commandments are found in your Bible. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.